Last Friday we had our first meeting of the NHS Lothians with MSPs for our quarterly briefing. It was a packed agenda. I think the things that were absolutely crucial uh, were the feedback about the Elsie Ingalls nursing home. Uh, this was something that all MSPs were very concerned about. Two people have died now who were residents at the home and there's, there's really a serious concern about the quality of care in nursing homes across the country and with the potential collapse of the Southern Cross Company, which has large numbers of people in Edinburgh, it was something that was a matter of concern to all of us. My concern was the longer term issue about how the NHS plans for contingencies such as this and the disproportionate reliance on private care for the care of our most vulnerable um, people, whether they're elderly or people with learning disabilities. So I'm very concerned that this issue is taken forward in Edinburgh because of the um, huge increases in property several years ago, some of our care and nursing homes actually left the private sector and the public sector had to step in, um, but notwithstanding that there are still going to be issues in Edinburgh and there was an agreement that we wanted feedback both from the Scottish Government, um, whether it was in the form of a summit or work with local authorities and also action at the local level through our local councils. The other issue that I was particularly keen to pursue was the issue of the new Sick Kids and Neuroscience Hospital in Edinburgh at Little France. It's now delayed by two years by the current government and before the election it was something I was asking Health Minister Nicola Sturgeon some sharp questions about. It's been parcelled off to the Scottish Futures Trust. Uh, the Health Board have had to reorganise their plans but they still don't have feedback, they still don't have a guaranteed start date and they don't have the most basic information about the financial support they'll get from the Scottish Government. So it makes it almost impossible for them to plan. Um, in Glasgow, Nicola Sturgeon put through the Southern General funding through conventional means over £800 million, whereas the Sick Kids is to be funded by more traditional public-private partnership route, um, but it's not clear how that actually is going to be costed and it's certainly not clear who will pick up the tab for it at the end of the day. So I will be laying questions in Parliament and I'll be looking for answers from the Health Minister Nicola Sturgeon on this one.